Okay, today I'll be doing a upgrade options video for a uh, HP Desk Pro small form factor. So this will be a HP Desk Pro or Pro Desk 600 G1 small form factor computer. There's this computer is pretty upgradable. This is a this uses a third generation i3, i5, or i7 processor. Uh, the power supply on this thing is a, has 240 watt. You cannot upgrade the power supply for this computer because it uses a specialized small form factor power supply. However, you could upgrade the RAM and other stuff for it, and I'll show you that now. So let me take this apart. Let's just pull this out. And let me show you what you can upgrade this computer to, of what kind of upgrade you can do to this computer the first upgrade that you could do for this computer would be to add more RAM this computer came with one four gigabyte module however this computer could put you could put four eight gigabyte dims in here so you could have a total of 32 gigabytes of RAM. I think it's DDR3 PC10600. I'm not sure if it could use the DDR3 PC12800, but um, if I find that I'll leave it in the video comments. And for the CPU, I think you could upgrade the CPU. This CPU is an i5 four five something it's 400 series i5 processor and you could put a graphics card in here as well if you want there's a SATA not a SATA but a PCI e x16 slot right here you could put a small form factor um, graphics card in here I think maybe a GeForce GT 1030 or a small form factor uh, graphics card for a GeForce GTX 1050 and to do that you just remove you just push you just pop this open this part and you could just Put in your graphics card like that, your small form factor graphics card. Not 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 very hard to do or anything. Pretty easy to do. If you want to play games or if you want to use this computer for uh, emulation, if you want to emulate stuff like uh, Nintendo, um, I mean not Nintendo, whatever, Nintendo GameCube, uh, Sega Dreamcast. Sony PlayStation 2 and stuff like that you could uh, definitely do that if you want to turn it into an emulation machine it's a pretty small computer so it's an, it would probably fit nicely in your uh, living room hooked up to your television and you could upgrade the you could upgrade to an SSD as well if you want and that's not very hard to do I have a video in which I did that in so I'll leave that in the video descriptions and I'll leave it in the video cards on the top uh, right corner if you're interested you could you could add a, a two and a half inch SSD whether that be a 500 gigabyte or one terabyte or whatever it's possible so you could put in a three and a half inch SSD. It doesn't have uh, M.2 NVMe, however. Um, you could put in a bigger hard drive if you want. You could put in a four terabyte hard drive or larger because this computer does have a UEFI BIOS. The power supply cannot be upgraded, however. You're stuck with a 240, but a uh, small form factor video card it's not going to be using a lot of um, power. And I think those are the only upgrades you can make for this computer. 
So adding a better graphics card would probably enable you to play some some modern games. Definitely you could use it for emulation. Uh, this computer does not have a video card or a dedicated video card so it uses uh, the internal video card which is uh, which is in the motherboard I guess I don't know what kind of video card that is but I'm pretty sure that's good enough for emulation and it's a pretty small computer you could upgrade the CPU maybe to an i7 since this is a i5 I don't know if it could take a i7 for 790k because that would use more power than what this power supply could supply so that wouldn't be feasible maybe maybe some some other type of i7 processor or a higher end i5 I'll leave our make a list of that and show you so so those are all the upgrades you can make for it one thing I like about this computer is the fan design they put the fan here and it sucks the air in this way as you can see so it sucks it out there's no fan in the front so it sucks the air in from here and ejects it out the back and it has this nice little thing here which could direct the airflow. I think there's a fan in the back as well for this computer. Let me see. The fan here on the back directs the air outwards like that. From the way the fan looks, I think it's exhausting it out so it gets it in from the inside of the case. I guess air flows this way. The optical drive, you can upgrade this maybe to a Blu ray optical drive. I have other videos um, that I made about this computer, and I'll leave that in the corner video card, so I'll leave it in the video descriptions or the end screen. So, anyways, um, I think that's it. So. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.